The conversation with Neil deGrasse Tyson opens with an exploration of the prevalence of astrology, especially among younger generations like Gen Z, where surveys suggest as much as 80% believe in astrology to some extent, and many allow it to influence significant life choices such as romance, health, and career. Tyson expresses a candid and critical stance on this phenomenon. He acknowledges that people are free to choose whatever framework they prefer to navigate life, including believing that celestial bodies govern their fate. However, Tyson warns about the implications if belief in astrology and similar mysticism became universal, if it reached 100%. Such a scenario might signify a regression of civilization, figuratively returning to a cave mentality where natural occurrences are attributed to mysterious forces rather than understood through objective scientific discovery. He stresses the value of creating meaning in life through awareness and control rather than surrendering agency to superstition. This approach champions curiosity and skepticism as essential for preserving science and rational civilization. Tyson underscores, nonetheless, that the universe does influence human behavior in concrete ways, the rising sun regulating our circadian rhythms, the seasons affecting choices like clothing, and the tides dictating physical phenomena on Earth. These influences are real and measurable, unlike the arbitrary claims of astrology, which do not withstand scientific scrutiny despite their emotional and cultural appeal. A substantial part of the discussion dwells on human tendency toward tribalism and division based on superficial attributes such as skin color, religion, language, and cultural practices. Tyson critiques how these divisions often escalate into conflicts and even warfare. With his signature cosmic perspective, viewing human existences against the backdrop of a vast, ancient, and interconnected universe, he highlights the absurdity of internal human disputes. Tyson illuminates the profound biological and chemical unity shared by all living things on Earth. Genetic similarities, such as the surprising fact that humans share about 20% of their DNA with bananas, demonstrate the oneness underlying apparent diversity. Moreover, molecules that comprise the air we breathe cycle continuously so that the very breaths we take contain molecules once inhaled by every human in history, including historical figures like Jesus. This scientifically grounded concept calls into question human notions of separateness and exclusivity, pushing toward empathy and connection rather than conflict. By stepping back to view Earth as a fragile, pale blue dot suspended in space, Tyson encourages listeners to reconsider petty disputes through the lens of a shared planetary identity. The cosmic perspective offers a pathway to appreciating both human commonality and our collective responsibility for stewardship of the Earth. Tyson's explanation of black holes brings complex astrophysical concepts into clear, accessible language as he demystifies these enigmatic cosmic objects. He defines black holes as regions where gravity is so intense that the escape velocity surpasses the speed of light, preventing anything, including light itself, from escaping once trapped inside. This captures the essence of what a black hole is, a three-dimensional hole in space-time. He details how black holes are detected indirectly as their presence warps the fabric of space and time and influences surrounding matter. For example, binary star systems can harbor black holes when one star collapses under its own gravity, creating an intense ray-emitting swirl as it pulls material from its companion star. Despite their exotic nature, black holes don't indiscriminately suck in everything around them. Rather, objects can orbit safely at a distance, just as Earth would continue orbiting if the Sun were replaced by a black hole of the same mass. Tyson also discusses the hypothetical scenario of a golf ball-sized black hole weighing more than Earth, illustrating the extreme density of these objects. For listeners fascinated by cosmic mysteries, such explanations balance wonder with scientific evidence, dispelling misconceptions born of popular culture. Delving into the elemental makeup of life and the universe, Tyson highlights that the most abundant elements in the human body, hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen, coincide almost one-to-one -one with the chemical composition of the cosmos. This remarkable match stems from the life cycle of stars, which forge heavier elements in their cores and disperse them via supernova explosions, seeding interstellar clouds from which new stars and planets form. 
This stellar heritage means that humans and all terrestrial life are literally composed of stardust, an idea that bridges science with a sense of spiritual belonging to the cosmos. Tyson describes a universe that is not merely a backdrop to our existence, but one that is alive within us. This realization touches on what he calls scientific spirituality, where awe and wonder emerge from empirical truth rather than mythology. Tyson discusses his personal evolution from Catholic upbringing to a perspective informed by scientific literacy and skepticism. Though raised in a religious household, he became less convinced by dogmatic teachings by age eight and found his worldview profoundly shaped by early experiences at a planetarium. Rather than dismissing religion outright, Tyson embraces an informed approach, reading religious texts across traditions to foster respectful and meaningful dialogue with believers. He acknowledges religion's deep historical role in shaping human societies, from moral codes to social cohesion, while also recognizing the conflicts incubated by religious exclusivity. A poignant observation is that deeply religious people often reject all religions except their own, effectively functioning as atheists toward other faiths. Tyson contrasts spiritual fulfillment derived from scientific understanding with traditional religiosity, emphasizing a mature stance. Belief in God may coexist with happiness, but strict dogma can hinder inquiry. He advocates curiosity and continuous questioning rather than settling prematurely into fixed answers about life's big questions. The podcast explores the inevitability of death as a framework for meaning. Tyson reflects on the loss of both his parents within recent years and the impact of mortality on focus, purpose, and productivity. He stresses that knowing life is finite encourages urgency to contribute positively to humanity rather than fostering nihilism. Rather than seeking meaning as an external absolute, Tyson underscores the power of consciously creating meaning through learning, reducing suffering, and cultivating wisdom. This stance ties back to his famous maxim for a tombstone, be ashamed to die until you have won some victory for humanity. He contrasts this with the paradox of immortality, where infinite time would undermine the possibility of focused, meaningful pursuit, as there would be no hurry to accomplish anything. Tyson offers a sobering assessment of humanity's prospects for colonizing other planets within a human lifetime, especially Mars. Despite popular enthusiasm around private space ventures like Elon Musk's SpaceX, Tyson argues that significant space exploration milestones, such as the Apollo moon missions, have historically been driven by geopolitical imperatives rather than scientific curiosity or business opportunity. He points to the Cold War as a catalyst for the moon landing and notes that when geopolitical urgency subsided, so did manned missions beyond low Earth orbit. Contemporary plans to return to the moon under Project Artemis, he suggests, respond partly to new geopolitical competition, specifically with China's declared lunar ambitions. Tyson contends that without economic or defense incentives to justify massive expenditures, manned Mars exploration remains unlikely in the near term. The astronomical costs and complex orbital mechanics present formidable practical barriers. This realistic appraisal counters the popular narrative that commercial space travel and colonization are imminent. Tyson turns to artificial intelligence and its role in augmenting human capabilities, particularly in scientific research and creative arts. He embraces AI as a powerful tool that can handle complex data analysis, freeing human scientists to focus on interpretation and intuitive leaps. Regarding creative fields, Tyson suggests AI will push human artists to reach higher levels of originality, since algorithmic art easily replicates existing styles but struggles with bold innovation. This dynamic may redefine creativity as human artists strive to transcend mere imitation, achieving breakthroughs beyond what AI can produce. He warns against fearing AI as an existential threat while encouraging adaptation and embracing the new paradigm, emphasizing that AI has been integrated in scientific endeavors for some time, often unnoticed outside specialized fields. The existence of extraterrestrial life emerges as a tantalizing but unresolved topic. Tyson affirms the high probability that life exists elsewhere, given the universe's vast age and the abundance of essential chemical ingredients common to all known life. He discusses the search for life on exoplanets as a burgeoning field, 
and compares the scope of current searches to sampling a mere drop from an entire ocean, underscoring how much remains unexplored. The likelihood of intelligent civilizations estimated by Tyson and colleagues is on the order of hundreds within our galaxy, though their detectability remains uncertain. At the same time, Tyson emphasizes the need for extraordinary evidence to support claims of alien encounters or UFOs, advising skepticism toward anecdotes and blurry videos that often fuel popular alien fascination. The conversation also touches on how human conflicts and prejudices mirror projections onto hypothetical or alien encounters. One of the deeper philosophical threads addresses the nature of inquiry itself. Tyson stresses that science advances by continually learning new questions rather than seeking immediate definitive answers. He challenges the idea of a one great question and instead revels in the unfolding frontier of unknowns that keeps expanding as knowledge grows. He advocates loving the questions themselves, echoing poets like Rainer Maria Rilke, as a mindset that embraces uncertainty and the excitement of the unknown rather than clinging prematurely to answers. The right questions guide science and wisdom more than the answers alone. This recognition of inquiry's evolving character fosters intellectual humility and guards against dogmatism in all its forms, scientific or religious. Tyson also reflects on societal changes, particularly the decline of traditional community structures like churches, which historically have provided ritual and social cohesion. He worries about increasing individualism, remote working, and social fragmentation causing loneliness and weakening social bonds. At the same time, he recognizes that older generations may struggle to understand emerging lifestyles and values without resorting to judgment. He proposes that community remains essential for human well-being and survival, emphasizing the interdependence that contrasts with narratives of rugged individualism. Whether that community forms around family, religion, nation, or planet remains to be reimagined for modern times, but the need for human connection and shared purpose persists. Toward the podcast's conclusion, Tyson shares personal reflections on regret, expressing poignant remorse about a moment early in his academic career when he harshly evaluated a young student's abilities. This candid admission reveals the humanity behind his stature as a public intellectual and educator. He highlights the art of encouraging and nurturing potential rather than merely stating cold assessments, emphasizing the lasting impact educators can have on lives. Such reflections enrich the conversation with humility and underscore the ongoing project of personal growth that extends beyond scientific achievement.